Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I am so excited to show you all what I have been working on. So if you have been following me on Instagram and on streams, you know that I have been working on this Royal Starter save file for the past month or so. And it is finally here and I'm so excited for you all to see it. If you are new here, I am Mira Ray and I have a Royal Family series on my channel. I will link it below if you want to check it out. And as most of you know, I used to offer that save file for my royal family series available for people to download and I used to upload the sims on my gallery for people to download as well from that series but that series is like my baby and the characters are like my children they're something that I put a lot of time and effort into for years now so it just made me a little bit uncomfortable to see people use my characters on their public stories so I wanted to offer this royal starter save file as an alternative and I also wanted to do this because I have heard a lot of people say that they want to start start playing Royals in The Sims, but they don't know where to start or it's just very overwhelming because they have to make all of the Sims, the families and create the kingdoms. And also because they just don't know where to start with like storylines and all of that. So if you have ever thought any of that, then this is the save file for you. As this video is coming out, this save file is available for early access on my Patreon. It is available for all patrons. The lowest tier is $1 per month. It will be available to download for the public on December 21st, which is a little less than three weeks from now as this video is coming out. So first I'm going to just go over the post for the save file and that will have all the information you all need to know about how to download it and what's included in it. And then we will go in game and go into manage worlds and I will read you all and show you guys a sneak peek of the families that are in the save file and you guys will get to see their stories because that's what I'm most excited for you guys to see is the lore that me and my collaborators have put in here because it was just so much fun creating it. and. I I am excited to see what everyone does with it. All right, so this is the post from my Patreon page. It's the same thing on Tumblr. This one just has the link to download. And then there's a peek of the families, all of the households. And of course I will update this as new families are added. And I'll just go over this very quickly. So it says, have you always wanted to start a royal save file but haven't because you don't know where to begin? Well, this is the save file for you. Seven newly established kingdoms have been formed in this world and they have just discovered each other's existence. The monarchs of each kingdom recently held a meeting and decided to form an alliance, the Alliance of the Seven Kingdoms. The alliance includes the kingdoms of Windenburg, Willow Creek, Oasis Springs, Komrebi, Sulani, Dakarai, and Brindleton Bay. But how will these kingdoms coexist? Will they live together in harmony or will it end in turmoil? It's up to you to decide the fate of the seven kingdoms. Things you should know. All sims and builds are CC free. However, it is recommended to download Nando's Trip to Egypt mod to fully experience the kingdom of Dakarai, which replaces Strangerville. You can find the mod and its download instructions here. So just click there for the link for Nando's mod. All original EA townies have been deleted and new townies have been made to accompany the new noble and royal families. There are seven royal families families, 10 noble families, and six commoner households that have been added. And I just want to let you guys know that I will probably be adding one or two more households before this is released for the public. When this is released for the public, all of the families will be on my gallery to download. So if you've already downloaded the save file, you can just download the new families from there so you don't have to download the entire save file again. And then we are going to get a pronouns update to The Sims 4 is doing that, I believe the beginning of next year, so 2022. But I will add more Sims to the save file once that update comes out like non-binary sims, so you can expect that in the future. So back to the post. All families made for this save file are under played households. Only one or two noble families have been made for each kingdom in order to keep future titles available for the other royal family members that are not heirs, monarchs, or consorts. I'll go over that later. Plenty of lore has been added for each royal family and some of the other families as well. Disclaimer, in order to make the save file more compatible for lower end computers, most of the lots from the worlds being used have been deleted. Some lots have been replaced, but some have been left empty so you have the freedom to do what you please with them. The palaces included in this save file are very large and the fewer lots you have in the save file, the easier your game will run. And then this save file would not be possible without the amazing builders and other sim creators that contributed. So seriously, thank you to all of them because I would not 
be able to do the save file without them. I had some help with the Sims and also with the builds. Cause if you know me at all, I'm not a builder. I don't build anything. So thank you to the builders that contributed. Seriously, it just made this so much easier and definitely go check them out on the gallery. These are all of their gallery IDs. I put Maxis on there because I've kept some of the lots that were already in game. But if you didn't know, Maxis has some builds that are better than what is already in game. Um, so there are just a few that I downloaded from their gallery, but you'll see that later. So how to install the Royal Starter Save. I will get to that last. Let me just go over the rest of this first. I did put a list of all the packs that are not used in the save file. I thought that might be easier than putting the packs that I use. It would be a longer list if I did that. Everything should still work. There might just be some things missing for any worlds that you don't have. And the Sims from any worlds that you do not have will just show up in Manage Households. And then also, so Lord Crumbs, who's one of the builders, the amazing builders that we will see, he was kind enough to give early access to his Kingdom Flag Tapestry CC to anyone who downloads the save file. So if you've been following me, you know that he made some amazing flags for my royal families. These are different flags. He is currently making a bunch of CC, so definitely make sure to follow him. I will drop his social in the link below so you can get an update on that. But he did give early access to anyone who downloads the save file early. So you can download the tapestry at that link there. And also you can use the save file as you wish, but please do not re-upload this save file or claim it or any of the Sims and builds in it as your own. So how to install? Download the save file, but first create a backup folder of your current save files, please, because I do not want to be responsible for anyone that has a save messed up because of this. So just back up all your current saves, then download this save file. So you are going to click here. So what you will do is go to your saves folder in Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and then saves. So this is mine right here. I do already have it in game, but you will go to your downloads and then you will drag and drop it into your saves folder. I already have it in here, so I'm not gonna do that. If you have a save file that it already has like the same file name as my save, what you do is just click on this and rename it and just do like four or something like that. Just make it different so it doesn't replace any save files that you have. And then you are going to go ahead, go in game and open the Sims. So once you open your game, you will go into load game and you will see mirror ray royal starter save and you will press play. So I will just go over, we'll go to all the worlds that the kingdoms are in. The only world that is also used that wasn't mentioned for the kingdoms is Henford on Bagley. I made that an extension of Windenburg, which you can you can choose to still do that if you would like to, you do not have to. But let's go ahead and take a look at all the families. So we'll just start from here and go right. Okay, so first, as I mentioned before, the lots, I have cleared out a ton of them, which trust me is going to be so helpful because these builds are, they're amazing, but they're huge. So they're going to slow down your game quite a bit. So the less lots you have in your game, the better. I did replace some of the lots that were here. I bulldozed some and I kept some of the lots as well. But of course you are welcome to do whatever you would like with them. Now, any Sims or builds that I didn't create, which is all of them because I don't build, but um, they will have in the description who the creator is. I highly recommend, yeah, so for example, this one is by Frog Princess Meg. I highly recommend checking out all these builders galleries because they have some insane builds on their gallery. So this is all their gallery IDs. You guys saw them a bit before. Their contributions have been so helpful to the save file. So we'll start with the Willow Creek Royal family. Their palace is made by Samanda Builds, who is a new builder that I discovered. Definitely recommend checking out all the palaces on their gallery because they have so many amazing ones. All right, so this is just a peek at the Royal family. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail with them. I'm just going to read the descriptions. So the Willow Creek Royal family. Willow Creek's economy has quickly declined over the past year and rumors suggest that King Francois and Queen Rosalie are to blame. The only solution the King and Queen can think of is to get some of the neighboring kingdoms to sign a treaty agreeing to a future arranged marriage between their children, thus securing the kingdom's financial situation. The king and queen love their children and want nothing but happiness for them, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And this family, the Sims were originally made by Lauren Loves, one, two, three, four, five. She also did create the original Sims from the Brinson Bay royal family, so you guys will see them later. Now, I am really only going to read the royal family descriptions to you all, but I highly recommend checking out all of the descriptions. Some of them don't really have a story because I did wanna leave a few blank slates for you guys to do what you want with them, but I recommend reading them because some of the lore is connected with other families, both noble and commoner households. And I will give this one as an example. So this is the 
Baron of Willow Creek. Also, as I mentioned, I left a lot of noble families and titles open. So that way, if you want to make, for example, we have Prince Pierre and Princess Fleur, who are not the heir, then if you want to, you can make them a noble when they are adults in the future. But there are at least one royal, there, sorry, there's at least one noble family in each of the worlds. So for the Baron of Willow Creek, as the Baron of Willow Creek, Claude has always had important duties to uphold. And as King Francois's best friend, Claude was always happy to help the royal family with anything they needed. However, about a year ago, King Francois started getting involved with some shady people, and he has put the whole kingdom and its people at risk. Claude grew more and more concerned and confronted King Francois about it, and things have not been the same with them ever since. So that gives you a little bit more insight about what's going on with the royal families. Also, this family was also made by Lauren. But yeah, just an example of how these stories of each of the families connect. So next we'll go to Oasis Springs, and we have the Oasis Springs Royals here. Their palace was made by Omni Sim, who is also another new creator that I have discovered and also has amazing builds on their gallery. So again, definitely go check it out. So for the Oasis Springs Royals, from the outside, the Oasis Springs Royals may look like the perfect family. However, if you take a closer look, you can see that they're anything but that. Queen Sandari and Prince Consort Jai are pushing their eldest son and heir, Prince Sanjay, into a future arranged marriage with Princess Akira of Komorebi. Meanwhile, Princess Aditi has been causing some mischief and Princess Veda is just trying to stay out of her family's drama and focus on her studies. Will this family be able to stay afloat? And Veda and Aditi are twins. They're super cute. I'm excited for you all to see this family. There are a few things I have dropped into this family, so you'll have to play them to find out what they are. Next, we will go to Windenburg. So Windenburg, this is a smaller family. I tried to make a few differences in the family. So some are just starting, some have many kids already. But for the Windenburg royals, King Edward and Queen Mary have been married for over four years and still have not been able to conceive an heir. The stress had started to take a toll on their marriage. However, recently Queen Mary has discovered that she is with child and King Edward is elated. Will this good news help mend their relationship? And this royal family is another example of some of the connections with some other families in the save file. And also you will have to play the family to find out more about their story. So next we have Brindleton Bay. Brindleton Bay is an example of, uh, so I have in my royal family series, it's kind of grown as the packs have come out and as we have gotten new worlds. So in my royal family series, the Brindleton Bay kingdom is a kingdom. It was just this barren land that no one had been on ever. And then we had a situation happen. I don't want to spoil anything. We had a situation happen where it became this new kingdom from royals that came from other kingdoms. So it's kind of grown and like people started moving in from everywhere and their culture and traditions have slowly been forming over time. So for this Brunson Bay, I just made it already an established kingdom and I have replaced some of the lots, but I kept some of the lots too because it's, I wanted to make it flexible for people depending on what you guys want to do with it. So yeah, but, uh, and then this palace, for those who know my series might recognize it. It is, oh, also the Windenburg Palace too. They're both made by the man, the myth, the legend, Lord Crumps. So for their royal family, Queen Melina and Princess Consort Christina take great pride in the kingdom that they've brought together. But their biggest pride and joy is their three children, especially their eldest and heir, Princess Maria. She is everything they could ever ask for, responsible, graceful, and caring. However, what they don't realize is how much stress they've put on Maria and how close she is to cracking under the pressure. Will they be able Able to notice before it's too late. And as I mentioned, this family is made by Lauren. So that is the Brinton Bay royal family. So next we have Dark Rai, which is originally Strangerville. So this is the only mod needed in the game. Everything else is CC free. It, it, sorry, it's not needed. You don't need to download it, but it's highly recommended. If you don't have it, if you don't want to download the mod, you can make them the royal family of Strangerville, um, or you can use another world. You can move any Sims from worlds you don't have into a different world. It's completely up to you all. So here we have the Dark Rai royal royal family. Um, in my series, they are the Selva Dorada and Dakarai royal family. However, Selva Dorada to live in does require a mod, which is, I'll link it below, but it's by Zerbu. It's the uh, Destination to Livable Worlds mod, I believe. I just didn't know if people wanted to download that because it can be glitchy. And then this also leaves Selva Dorada used if you want to use it for Strangerville, if you want to use it for a different world like Burnson Bay or something like that as an extension, you can, but it is untouched. I just wanted to let you guys know that. So instead, I made them the Dakarai royals. After the 
recent announcement of Queen Adara's second pregnancy, the death of her husband, Prince Consort Taj, came as a shock to the entire kingdom. With his death being so unexpected, Queen Adara and her son, Prince Quento, are still trying to figure out how to adjust to life without him. While the queen is supporting her kingdom and son, will she also find comfort in another man's arms? So you guys can play that family to see more of their story. And then we have the royal family of Sulani. So in my royal family series, uh, you guys know if you watch it that the Sulani royal families are mermaids. But since this is the first royals of each kingdom, I wanted to like play with that idea a little bit. So we have King Kaikane and Queen Nalani are committed to being the best rulers they can be. They want to feel completely connected to Sulani and its people and have made sure to learn as many of the island secrets as they can. On a recent exploration, they discovered a new flora that they haven't seen before. What they choose to do with it will alter the course of the royal family forever. So I wanted to leave that up to you guys to play around with. And also a little uh, heads up, a little tip, uh, the Sulani queen is pregnant, so they are expecting as well. So that is Sulani. Their palace is also made by Omni Sim. Oh, and then, and the Dakarai palace, so this is actually the one I use in my game. However, I have CC in my game, so it is renovated. So the original build was made by Riley05 underscore five and renovated by Tiny Salty Simmer. And then the the last one, the last kingdom to show you all is the kingdom of, I just went with Komorebi instead of Mount Komorebi, but the Komorebi Royals. So their description is, running a kingdom is hard enough, but now Emperor Takeo and Empress Sakai have their two teenagers to worry about. Their eldest son and heir, Prince Daichi, always seems to get into some sort of mischief, which complicates plans for a future arranged marriage. Meanwhile, their daughter, Princess Akira, is a complete mystery to them. Lately, she has become more distant and she doesn't seem interested in any of the suitors that they have tried to set her up with. Will their kids ever settle down? And I do also want to just read one more family's description just to show you guys about the families connecting with their stories. So this is a commoner household. So the description is, after his mother's unexpected death, Sadao has worked every odd job he can find in order to keep food on the table. One day, Sadao secured a gig working at one of the palace's grand banquets where he met Princess Akira. It was by chance that they met and they have fallen deep in love since then. However, Sadao is the last person Akira's parents would want her to end up with. With no money and an unworthy background, Sadao doesn't stand a chance against any man Akira's parents set her up with. So again, some lore, also some craziness going on with the nobles here. So definitely take a peek at that. And besides that, of course, we have Henford on Bagley, which is just an extension of Windenburg and we have have some townies or some commoners here as well. Um, all of the households will be in the managed households, all of the ones that were added for the save file, other households, probably some random townies that have randomly generated. But there is a peek of this save file. Feel free to let me know if you download this and what you do with the families. I like, let me know in the comments below. Let me know on my streams, on my Twitch streams, if you would like to. I would be so happy to hear what you guys are doing with this story. I've already heard a few people what they're doing and people are just taking some of the storylines and going in completely different directions with them which is so interesting and it's just so fun to hear what you guys think and how you guys are playing them so yes again definitely feel free to let me know and there will be updates for this save file i will keep you all updated on my tumblr on instagram on my patreon and let you guys know what updates have been made and then if any households have been added then they will be uploaded to my gallery when this goes public if you were new to my channel and and want more Royal Sims content, then definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.